Yo guys, what is up? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another unturned update for you guys, and that's 3.16.4.0. And in this update, there's a lot of new additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing that was added was the ability to place these type of buildables in the level editor. So now, when you guys are in the level editor, you guys can set down like maple walls, uh, birch, and all other types of you know resource woods and stuff like that, such as metal as well. Now, there is also an in-game editor, which you guys are actually able to use in the camera mode, and it ge just gives you like more of a precise look on things. So, if you guys press H and then Shift F6, it brings you in this, and to move around, all you have to do is hold the right mouse button down. Now, when you hold the right mouse button down, it actually, you know, like moves around and everything, and to click on the item you want to move, you just left click on it. Now, when you left click on it, you guys, of course, are able to move this all around, without even having to destroy it or anything you guys can like uh bring it up as high as you want you guys can also use the other camera mode so if i do shift f1 it's going to bring me out here and it's basically going to be like the regular editor now in this you guys can actually still click on stuff still completely edit it uh do whatever you guys want you guys can go ahead and test this out for yourself but with this there's really no need for the actual editor anymore unless you guys are making really complex like buildings or you know creative I'd say, yeah, creative buildings, really. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to show you this. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. There was also ramp walls added, as you guys can see, which you guys were able to probably tell from all the other scenes uh, before this. But yes, there is now ramp walls, and of course, they come in a big different variety of, you know, all the resources, such as birch metal and etc., etc. Um, but yeah, these are the new ramps. And of course, you guys can just go ahead and uh, set them down. You need pillars to set them down, and they have to be, of course, you know, up next to a ramp to be able to uh, be set. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. There was also several new created workshop items that were added into the Steam or Unturned stockpile. Now, those weapons were the Aftermath Echo, Comic Boom Full Slot, Crinus Full Slot, Duro Calling Card. Era Echo, Jackpot Eagle Fire, Permafrost Night Raider, Retro Sport Crossbow, and the Sterilized Honey Badger. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys on how to get the uh, Soul Crystal achievement. Now, what you guys need to do is you guys need to make sure that you have a Horde Beacon and a Minigun or any other gun of, of any sort. Uh, make sure you have cheats enabled on your server or if you guys want to do it legitly, which may take you a bit longer. Uh, you guys will have to find a horde beacon and find, uh, you know, of course, guns to kill the zombies after this. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to walk as close as you can as possible to this uh, little symbol on the wall, which is at the very end of the St. Petersburg uh, tunnel. So once you're over here, you guys want to walk up to it and you guys actually want to re-log. Alright, so once you guys have actually logged out and logged back in, you guys will end up in the middle of this wall. Now once you're in the middle of this wall, you guys just want to go ahead and walk onto this side where this little uh, aura or whatever, this giant block of uh, glowing red stuff. Uh, you guys just want to walk up to it and you guys want to go ahead and grab out your horde beacon. And once you have a horde beacon, you guys want to place it on top. Now once you place it on top, of course, there's going to be a giant horde coming. So you guys want to go ahead and make sure you guys have a lot of medkits on hand. And we'll go ahead and press 3. And yeah, let's go ahead and try this. So we're going to set this down. Get ready for the hordes coming in. They should start coming right in through this area over here. Okay, come on. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You can hear them. I think they're closing in. Got to kill every zombie that comes through here. The minigun is the best thing to do because uh, it basically kills them instantly. You guys can see like the little red fog or dust coming right off them after you guys kill them. This is my first time doing this as well. Um, I learned this from DanaB2, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out his channel, the link will be in the description. So uh, let's just kill all these zombies that come through here. Hopefully we can kill them all. And then it teleports you right in here, and hopefully it will give you the achievement. Now this is the door in the very beginning, um, which was showed in one of the little teasers. Now, once you're in here, you guys just want to go ahead and walk through here, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way for us to get the achievement here. So, let's go ahead and figure this out a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and walk down here. You spawn with nothing on you, so it's just all walking around. Here's this little area over here. 
see if we can do anything on particular. Here's a little note as well, which you guys can go ahead and read this. I'll just go ahead and leave it on here for a few seconds, or you guys can go ahead and pause the video and read it for yourselves. So we're also going to figure out how to uh, get this achievement. Now, do we walk up to it? There we go. So we walk up to it. Um, I don't know if you have to do anything in particular, but I walked up to it, pressed E, and I got the Soul Crystal achievement. Now, I'm pretty sure we can do this once again, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn myself another beacon, and yeah, so that is about it for this, guys, and um, if you guys like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.